you that ticket, boy. Don't have a ticket, do you? Yeah, I'm gonna wait you, mate. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome back to Montana. We are here with Isaac, oh, my brother. You give me a heart attack. And we are so excited to be here. It's a little windy today, <laughs> but we're gonna we're gonna have fun regardless. <laughs> well, we were gonna do some fly fishing. It's a little windy, so I'm hoping that <laughs> it, I'm hoping that it bears down a little bit and. Uh, chills out so we actually can get a line in the water but probably not so then we're just gonna go for a scenic hike with a fly rod. And if we blow up our climate pad we can hop the river and float back down. We're gonna do Kentucky. a wind test of we're gonna let the air the wind fill up the pad. So, yeah. So, anyways All right. beautiful day out here. There's a saying in France that if you throw rocks you get reported. It's a good thing we don't live in France. That was, that was for the boys. I hate you the most. Yeah. This video today is powered by Kimade. Taste the rainbow. I'm not drinking Alani News. If you're not hey. wearing camo hey, and Kimade. You can't be saying that. Yeah, I can. Yes, I can. Until Hoist makes because an energy drink. Because when Hoist makes an energy drink, I will be slamming those bad boys. Okay, well, okay. if we lose our sponsorship, it's because of Luke, everybody. Give him a Here's the deal. You drink this before, you get jacked up, you go hike up into the mountain, you need to replenish your electrolytes, you know, hoist, slam a few of those bad boys, you're gonna be good to go. Absolute power duo. Kimade and a black cherry hoist. Or blaze orange. Both fire. Part of it. Just to register. There is none. I mean, there is some graffiti. Guys, well, we just uh, we're just walking on this bank, and uh, we saw a couple of trout right here tucked into these rocks. So I think I just kind of hike up somewhere on one of these boulders, see if you can't toss a line in and uh, get one hooked up. So, we don't know, we're just gonna give it a shot. It's a little windy for the, for the fly rod, but it'll be cool, we're gonna give it a shot. picked up too daggum much and I tried my best to catch a fish for the video um, however it's windy as all get out so it's just next to impossible to catch anything so I think we're gonna move on down it's a beautiful river nonetheless one of the finest trout streams in America so you got to make an attempt um, saw a nice brown jump out of the water don't know what in the world he was rising to but we shall see we're gonna carry on we're gonna eat some trail mix. Mmm. And drink some hoist. 
Mm. Now, mm. summer evenings, you come down here with a hopper, no wind, sun setting, mm. flinging it right up behind that rock. Mm. Oh, yeah. That's where they're at. Oh, yeah. For sure. Not too bad. No, I bet all this stuff is really nice fishing when the when the weather is good for fishing. <laughs> It's really just not right now, it's just a little bit unfortunate. It's just a little bit too windy. Um, it just dies down for a second, but every, as soon as you get your rod out, it just starts blowing 30 again. It makes it pretty hard. But uh, what a beautiful place. It's incredible. You're not gonna get this in Kentucky. You're not gonna get this sitting on your couch. Can't do this on concrete. bit of a hike we're gonna look to see how far we went 4.8 miles hey, that's good. not bad yeah that was a good little five mile hike yeah yeah that was almost. a little bit farther than we thought we're probably almost to the other side uh or almost to the halfway point I'm getting getting close to it we struck out on the fishing it's too windy but it was a beautiful hike so solid day can't can't beat the views in montana man no you can't let's get let's pack up and get some cheese it's in the truck all right, two mice fell in the creek. Whoa! 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 Yeah! Whoa! What you call an icon living? Start a record label, Miss Fish just did it. Whoa! Nylon, couple five minutes. Whoa! We are too hot in the business. Whoa! About to make a movie independent. Whoa! Need new trucks independent. Whoa! I need you to listen to the vision. Whoa! All your brothers tell like dirty bitches. I'm about to pull them in the new episode of Midwest Madness. Alright, welcome to the new episode of Midwest Madness! My name is Luke Kent, and I'm here with Brandon, and Chase, and Isaac, and we're gonna go do some ice fishing out here, and it's blowing a hundred knots across the water, but we've got a bang, and we've got a hoist, and we're fired up, so let's rock and roll, baby! Woo! Make sure when you're out here in Antarctica that you're getting a lot of vitamins and that is going to keep you going as we travel out onto the ice. Oh, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another Andrew Flair vlog. I'm going to talk about my camel for 50 minutes and then I'm going to go fish in my pond and catch a wild trout that I definitely didn't stock into this pond. I spoke literally Ralph, literally Ralph. It's going nuts right now, guys. I don't know what's going on. This is crazy. I'm just trying to make sure I don't give. This could be a bad idea, Mom. Let me go first, all right? What a day to be on. Yeah, and that was very special to me. I don't care if we get tangled. I just want to see some action. Even if we get tangled, I'm going to be the happiest guy in the world. Come on, baby. I'm trying 
catch me. Let's go, baby. Oh, 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 what? Let's go. Woohoo! Woohoo! <laughs> oh, nice 16, 17 year print skinny boat. Dude, that's beautiful. Browns aren't really good to eat, so unless you guys want them, no. we'll get a rainbow. Awesome. Yeah. Sweet. That's awesome. Yeah. Let's, Let's go. go baby. Nice one. Smell you later. All right. Good work. Got the skunk off. All right. All right. You guys gotta get one. <laughs> Let's Come do on. it. It's way too cold. Give a little update. All right, guys. Well, we caught one nice brown trout, and that's all that we caught. We sat out here forever. We had some some fun in there, just hanging out with the boys. But it's really windy, and uh, fish aren't biting, so we're packing up and we're getting out of here. And uh, I'm hoping that if we put our sails up. Scoot us all the way back to the truck so we don't even have to walk. Shut up, Brandon! <laughs> Alright, well, we had a pretty decent day on the lake. At least for me, I caught a fish. Uh, we had to leave early because these guys whisked out because of the wind, or I think we could have done a lot better. But um, we just learned, uh, you know, to be prepared next time if you're gonna come ice fishing in Montana. But other than that, it was a pretty good day. I mean, yeah. Well, things considered, great day. Nobody died. Nobody got an involuntary ice bath. And um, so yeah, we lived to see another day. Yep. Thank you for watching. Now it's time to go get some food and also cure the tinnitus in my ears from the wind. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Pound it. You guys, thanks, man. We are at Straight Six Archery. It is league night. Isaac's yeah. about to kill it. Let's go. What's the skinny? What's the well, skinny? so right now this is the six o'clock line. They're gonna shoot their league, um, then we're gonna shoot ours at seven thirty. Uh, so right now, people are warming up, getting, getting a couple warm-up shots in. So I'm gonna go over there, maybe rip two or three. Try not to shoot too many. Don't wanna get in fatigued, but also don't wanna go in here with no warm-up. So that's game plan. I'm from Kentucky. My, I haven't sighted my bow in since sixth grade. Okay. I, I don't even need a release. I'm just gonna. Pull you don't it. even need a range finder. I don't need no range finder. I can see that's at 20 yards and X one's 30. We would come out here and win this thing. Man. He's getting absolutely doubt him, but what he needs is a drink of this horse. Yes. He 100% just drank that. I saw it. <laughs> I mean, 45 yards, I'm aiming for this dot, so three warm up shots. A little bit left, and my miss has been left, so might have to dial. Yeah, we're going to have to dial. That's not going to cut it. We're trying to win this. It's not going to cut it for me, that's for sure. We're trying to win this. This is a game plan. We have to get tired of it. We have to come out victorious. I don't care what these guys are shooting. We got the bear archery bow tonight, and we're gonna win this thing. Do you hear me? Time to get dialed in. Let's go. Drink hoist. Sounds the plan. Are we talking about the shot or the great body? Great grouping. He's got a great gluteus maximus, I mean, grouping. He's got a dial in right now. I don't know what the deal is. He's not drinking hoist. He didn't have a hoist today. Ladies and gentlemen, we are out here and it's league night. And uh, Isaac Kent's up on the tee box. To be completely honest, we don't even know what he's shooting at, but here he goes.
What's going on, Jack? All right, so we've got four targets here. So I think, so basically the way it works is we've got our scoring, right? So we've got 11s in the center, 10s is like, you know, 10, 10 ring is like what you're aiming for, 11 is like a bonus. You got eight and then five outside of the eight. So basically, based on these four targets, I think I've got three 11s and one eight, which is kind of a bummer because the eights take your score down, but the 11s make up for it. So she still should be plus one on this end. All right, 11 right there inside the line. 11 for you. Dead center, yes sir. All right, another 11 right here. And then you got a 10, buddy. It's 10 on that one, just outside of the 11 there. You better, man. I know. This one's a tough one because you, you can't really you can't see really the 11 tell. line. But it's an 8, so all good. We'll take it. 11, 11, 10, 8, so we're even. 40. Nice. Which is the name of the game. If you're, I mean, ultimately, if you're even, you're doing really good. I hold my, I try to hold myself to a high standard, but, you know, if you shoot an 8, you got to make up for it with 11s. Yeah. The good part is if you don't shoot an 8, you can shoot a 44, and those four points make up a lot. Chris B, if you're trying to shoot some 3D, come on. One. 1v1, one one, me and Chris, all right? You know, the name of the game is to just drink hoist. <laughs> you got to make up for that sponsorship with that. Yeah, I know. Well, you know what? Video, man. Hoist, on. my guys. I'm calling you out, making an energy drink <laughs> on the side. Facts. I'll help you design it. I, I'm an energy drink connoisseur. I promise yes. you, we will make something better than Kim Aid. Okay? So just hit me up and let's, let's make this thing happen. You know it. What type of bear are you shooting today? So I'm shooting the Bear Whitetail Max. Um, got it at 70, like it's maxed out, right about 72 pounds. Uh, shoots really nice, running Trophy Ridge accessories, and shooting it pretty good. So yeah, buddy. You can't beat it for the price. It's less than, it's, it comes in right around a thousand bucks, everything, all my equipment, like a thousand bucks, 1100 bucks. Any other bow, mainline bow, you're gonna be up around, you know, two grand with all the accessories, so it's pretty good. <laughs> I'm just kidding. This here is my goose that I shot a couple years ago. That was a chicken. Pretty sure it's a goose. Oh. I'm just kidding. Don't look anything like them Kentucky birds though. Yep. Mm. Yes. Yes. Pretty close. Dead nice. Held that one a little longer than I wanted, but. You gotta have that shot progression. But I don't wanna bore you, I don't want Luke to be sleeping over here, but I'm trying to dull out some facts. I'm not tired at all. I've just been drinking this hoist. Do you see the target? I can't see it. Should be pretty good. It's not a bad shot, it's a little high, but it's not a bad shot. Oh, it's low. But it's in there for an eight. All right. Got to lock in. That was a tough one. It's a tough station. All right. The Tell most me. important mission of all time. We need to go get an Alani new ASAP Rocky. We're drinking hoist. Oh, dude, I'm drinking this hoist, and I'm just double fisting with a hoist and an Alani new. I'm so addicted. I have a problem. I have a problem. Oh! Oh, shit. <laughs> a big puddle <laughs> I just busted straight through the ice and just soaked my Ooh. feet dude dude I just busted through <laughs> good thing I got my rocky boots <laughs> I just busted right through the ice I don't know I thought it was a parking lot I thought it was uh just like pavement and then I went and my feet just Oh. Straight through, so. <laughs> Welcome to St. Clair's. Thanks. Welcome to St. Clair. Thank you. Hey guys. Oh, oh, hi. Hi. Shakes are gone. Back to league night.
Test the test the test You can cut out that other. Hey yo, hey. I'll try. Yeah. Yeah. Back, Put it up, Blondo. Put it up, Blondo. I don't know what's happened. We left to get in and everything's falling apart. We're going to have to change teams at that point. This could be very bad. He did fist something. Bump. He's got that tiger fist bump, baby. That's it's good. What happened there? What's going on? Locked in, dialed in like Davis, man. You know, I don't know if it's I don't know if it's four elevens. I didn't even scope my last one, but it felt like a really good what shot. What about the one you lost the fletching? Yeah, I don't know what the frick. I guess the fletching glue must have just been starting to come off those. Those was that a good shot. Yeah, it was a good shot. I mean, but it's all good. It's a bad day to be a 3D archery target, and it's an even worse day to be in Alani New, baby. Let's go. Dialed like Davis. This guy. We're gonna lose our sponsorship because of this guy. Mm -mm. I don't know what you're talking about. Hey, make sure to drink. Oh, boys. Hey, hey, buddy's, we get out in. buddy's slugging at Alani at 801. He's like, the mitts are shaking. No, the shakes are gone. No. Yeah, I, w I had a horrible headache. <laughs> I had a bad headache. So I had to get some caffeine. If you're addicted, call 1 800 get help. I hate those, man. It's like you're so close, but you're not. <laughs> I actually only had one 8 and got an 11, so I thought I had two 8s, but ended up on the good side. So. Yeah, pair of 10s, all right. Dang, man, that was. That was Video a evidence. 42 yards, man. Good shot. Dude. So we're Plus two. we're two up on the night so far. All right, you guys. That's gonna close out the night. I ended up shooting, I think, my best score ever statistically. Uh, so 246 out of 264. So all tens, six plus on the night. So he's probably copying me back there. <laughs> Great night. Shout out to Bear. Hey man, you don't gotta shoot one of those high name bows. I'm not gonna say it. You don't have to shoot one of those to shoot good. You're never gonna outshoot the piece of equipment. So stop complaining about what bow you're shooting. Get a bear for less money and go shoot lights out. Be a better archer. Thank you guys for watching. This has been a blast. Shot great tonight. Had a fun time. Hope you like this and hope there's more of it. Now, roast this kid in the comments. What are you gonna say? Yeah, in the comments, I, yeah I got something to say. It, they're lucky I'm not in this league. Look, what I do? I, like I said, I haven't sighted my bow in since I was in sixth grade. Okay, <laughs> I'm using the same thing. I'm using a Barnett from Walmart. Okay, I'd come out here. What and about I would, your broadheads? You I would just chip a rock. No, I don't chip a rock. <laughs> I use the nine dollar for three pack of Allen broadheads. <laughs> and guess what? Dead nuts every time. Just, <laughs> just straight through the rib cage. Just kill zone. You don't need to have all kinds of fancy stuff. You just need to go out and you need to have some fun. You need to get in the outdoors and you need to keep living, man. Okay? And you need to buy this hat. It's about yeah, buy our hats. It's about spending some time with the M and the E. All right? Just keep on living. Green lights, baby. No stop signs. That's right. No no stop signs. California just stops. Green lights. Just keep rolling. No cop. Though. No stop. Midwest madness. Alani new hoist. Straight to the moon. Straight to the moon. We're taking the same to the moon. So thank Please. you guys for watching. We love you guys so much. We can't wait to see you on the next episode of Midwest Madness. Peace.